Here's how the new Counter-Strike 2 stick rate is gonna work because it's a pretty big deal for the entire game industry. The game will make calculations based on the data received from your mouse and keyboard and then apply it to the game's logic. This will then be split up into packets and sent over the internet onto the game's servers. Then the servers will compare all of this data and send the updates back to the clients. This way, all of those nanoseconds will actually be able to be compared if needed instead of just having a fixed stick rate of 64 or 128, which is basically the amount of times per second or time interval that the game updates. That's at least how I think Valve will be implementing this, but I don't have the actual code in front of me, so I can't know for sure. But I can say that you should follow this channel like right now. So again, this is my speculation. Uh, we just can't know for sure. I mean, the video that Valve posted is one minute and 23 seconds long about the new tick rate. So there's really not all that much information out there. We, we don't even know how well it's going to work, right? Like uh, we're going to have to actually play the game to see if this uh, works really well to the point where every single other game should implement it. Uh, or if it just doesn't. And with this update and with the whole new better graphics and smoke grenades and stuff like that, uh, the only thing that's really missing is a gigantic update to the anti-cheating system, which I think the solution to that is just going to have to be some sort of an AI system that is able to recognize the various patterns, uh, the way people move with cheats and without cheats, that's going to be able to go through thousands of demos every second and so on. Uh, so that is the one last thing that Counter-Strike needs. Other than that, uh, I personally am very excited for the summer.